Previously on Crafting with Cocktails. Welcome to Hogwarts. I've decided to do something a little crazy. Shazam! Let's make some Harry Potter robes. What happened? Voila! If your pumpkin juice tries to settle, don't let it. Make it strive for the best. We're Ravenclaws. Drink. Blam! And now, back to our show. Get your black fabric. Here I have a sleeve that's already been made. There is a bell sort of shape at the top of the sleeve so it can lie flat as your arm goes down. Essentially this, but wider. If you're willing to tear up a baggier old shirt of some sort, then you can actually make a pattern by cutting it along the seam and then tracing around it. Just make sure you get that top bit right. Then once you get it halfway cut out, and get rid of that, fold it over, and continue cutting. Here you need to figure out how long you want your sleeve to be. Right where this bone is right here, you're just going to measure from there to your knuckles. A bling bling bling. And we'll make copies of those, but let's first make the hood. We're just going to make half of the pieces of hood and then put them together. Now ask Dumbledore if you can borrow his pensieve because you're going to use it to trace around. Just get any giant bowl out of your house, set it somewhere on your fabric, near an edge probably, trace around a quarter of it. That would make a pretty good like helmet hood sort of thing. Pensieve for the win. Bring it out. Is that how far down you want your hood to be? Probably. Perfect. The right angle at the bottom, curve it up, boom. It looks weird and giant, but half of your head, it'll poof out, just so. Shazam! Look, you have all of your pieces cut out and pinned together, wow. Pin along that edge that's supposed to be stitched up, stick it on your head and see if it looks pretty good. Like so. Start stitching. Bling! Lumos! Drink to that. Sew up the back of your hood on both pieces. If you want to really make this nice, you can serge all the edges. A lot of people don't even know what a serger is. Muggles, take the right side, stick those together, and stitch it along that front of the hood. It'll look weird like this. Bag that out. Poof! Now let's move on to the sleeves. We're gonna do the sleeves essentially in the same way. Stitch up the edge that goes along the underside of your arm. Get the sleeves stitched up, put the right sides together again, and stitch that all the way around. You cut them right, the sleeves should fit together just right. Finish the sleeves, and I turn them right side out. Now let's work on the body. We're gonna start on one half of the front. Make sure both the lining and the outside are really, really well cut out exactly like each other. You start with under the armpit on both your front pieces, the lining and the front, and with your back piece. Now the right sides are together here. Peel them apart so that you can see that edge under the arm. Then you're gonna take the back piece and line that up with your black piece. Sandwich that with the other front piece and pin it. Stitch from under the arm all the way down that side seam. It's beautiful. I decided to add another pocket to that side. Wink. Fold it inside out again. Now do the same thing Hello. with the shoulder seam. And we'll worry about this bit up here later. Fits very well. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side. There you go, there's a start to some pretty snazzy robes. Take these two pieces apart, and this is the reason it was so important that everything be so well lined up, because you're going to stitch it all together with everything else sandwiched inside, but not finishing off the bottom, so that you can still bag it all out that way. Then, reach inside the bag that you just made, and look, it's the rest of your robe. Now do the other side. I think this looks lovely. Now we put on the sleeves, and the hood, you know, whatever. So sleeves, right? Sleeves are actually pretty hard to put in, I'm not gonna lie there. But practice makes perfect, am I right? Yes. Have your sleeve turned right side out, pull through to your shoulder seam, which will be inside out. Match everything up. You put a lot of pins in there. Go you. Let's test it out. Oh, I think yes. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Now that you look like you're graduating, it's time to put on a hood. Start by putting on the robe, slapping the hood on top, and then just kind of feeling out where you want it to be. Back center of the hood, pinning it to the back center of your robe, and then you can kind of feel it around. Hot wink. As you maneuver the hood down onto the front, tuck it into the top bit that you didn't sew together. Clip a little bit to ease all of that hood into the space. Hello. We get the gist. And I hope that your robes turn out marvelously. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Cocktails. If you really liked it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tell a friend if you think they'd benefit from this or at least have a laugh. Until next time, friends. Wink.